Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hello, everyone! Today, I'm going back to working in retail. <sighs> Something I never thought I'd say in my life again. I'll be off. I'll see you guys later. That's the end of the YouTube. Now, as anyone who has worked in retail before will tell you, the worst bit about working in retail, the absolute worst thing is the customers. So I saw this game. I have no idea what it's about. I have no idea what you do, but I know that you work in retail and you own retail stores. So I wanted to see if I can beat up my customers, if I can scam my customers, if I can take advantage of the customers and really just get some revenge for all those times that I've wanted to drop kick a 50 year old mum in the face. So let's create our manager. Christ, size of that jaw. He looks like he's been stung by a bee. Oh yeah, the 2006 rock band Mohawk. That's exactly what I'm looking for. All right, I kill customers. He is here. He's ready to go. Ooh, I get to make my own store. High fashion sense? Yes, please. Yeah, I think we'll leave that as the company logo because that's what they'll be doing. They'll be walking in and then hitting that Uno card with the reverse and be like, ah, I'm out. It tells you what your population is. So we got a couple farmers, we got a lot of celebrities, a few accountants, and we got loads of hipsters here as well. This is your pre-opening day, meaning you have all the time in the world to get your store ready for the grand opening. Well, that's not true. You only have 24 hours if it's pre-opening day and it opens the next day. Why are you lying to me, game? This is Lisa. She is a fellow manager in another store. Why is she helping me then if she's from another store? All right, I just skipped all the tutorial, so I have no idea what's going on. Aha, yes, some clothes, right. La fashionable. Right, we'll, we'll get a couple of la fashionable. We want to get in on the memes, though, so we want to have some Bazinga t-shirts as well. Some meme gaming t-shirts to show that we're a hip, cool company. And why not just chuck a couple of football t-shirts in there as well? That one looks like a Man United kit, so we'll leave that one out because no one's going to be buying that in 2020. All right, let's take you guys on a tour through Dice Store. So you walk in, there's going to be one hanger just full of... Different things. La Fashionable, football t-shirts, some Mimi Gaming t-shirts. In here, we got the storage room. With this, the wrong way round, because I put it down the wrong way round, and I don't know how to rotate it. Oh, E is telling me. It's like the game heard me. And then in here, the staff room. There's, there's not much space, really. It's just my computer desk. All right, I'm ready to go. Let's request our delivery. Oh, is this the guy of our delivery? Yes. Come here, boy. Come in, come in. Welcome to Dice Store. Open in tomorrow. Hello? You, you going to track with me? Thanks for the delivery, mate. It you just go in and it just goes without saying a word. At least when I used to work in retail, the delivery guy would always talk to me. <laughs> okay, this is my office. Here's an overview of the staff that are currently hired. Whoa, 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 I didn't hire any of these people. Why have we got the same person working for us? <laughs> this seems a little bit sus. We got a clone working for us. I mean, I don't doubt this is what retail is heading for. As soon as we can clone people, or as soon as robots can do retail work, that's exactly what's going to happen. This is where I conduct interviews. Oh, dear. Are they really giving me the freedom to do interviews? We can increase and decrease the times when we're open and closed. Oh, we're going to have some fun with that later. Wait, what? What did I just do? No way, I just sold my hanger. No, that's my hanger. I was trying to I was trying to hang things on it. Quick, the store's open. There we go. Okay, we have two things up. Is anybody interested in a button-up shirt in uh in salmon or or, or a Real Madrid away kit? Hello? Yeah, yeah. Do you wanna come in? I've got I've got some clothes. I mean I, they're not ladies' clothes, but this is 2020, you can wear what you want. Oh, hello. Hello. You alright, mate? Welcome. Yeah, take a look at our wide range of clothes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, there's three people in here. There might not be enough clothes for everybody, guys. Have a look at the selection. No? Not interested? Uh, oh. Okay, so let's get some Mimi gaming t-shirts that mums can buy for their kids on the go. Hello, sir. No, sir, come back. Come back. Stay in. Stay in, sir. Sir, are you not the best fashionable? Are you not into football? We have a wide range. We have memes. Memes. Free memes in here. Free memes, everybody. Well, they're not free. They cost like $150. There we go. Now we have more of a selection. Yes, yeah, right. Look at all this. Oh. Oh. Oh, he's got something. He's picked it up. He's put it back. Is he stealing? Is my man stealing? Hello. Hi. I'm not sure about this. What do you recommend? Oof. Yeah, the fashionable. Finished sale. Did I just sell the fashionable? Ah, the register wasn't open. So that guy just walked out without getting something. $480? We made some money! Come on in, miss. We just made some money. I'm feeling confident. I sold that guy an absolute rip-off. It's just a red button-up shirt, and I sold it to him for $250 or whatever it was. Let's order some new Le Fashionable, because they seem to be doing well. Should we get some shoe racks on the go so we can start selling some shoes? Aha, uh -huh, yes. Do we have some Le Fashionable shoes? Yes, Le Fashionable, and also... Active sportswear as well. Get these bad boys ordered. If I could introduce you in our wide range of clothing. <laughs> he just walked straight out. He wasn't even in here for five seconds. Five seconds. That's all I ask. Five seconds of your time. Don't just don't just blank. Oh my god, look at the size of his hands. Christ, actually, yeah. You keep on walking, sir. You do your own thing. I don't want to get in a fight with you. What happens if I just go for like a coffee or something? Does, does someone end up stealing from my store? Because I don't close it. I just left the store open. No one stole. I mean, I mean, then again, I don't blame them. I mean, who, who would want to steal from this store? Day one's drawing to a close. No customers punched in the face yet. No customers abused yet. But we made a, a little bit of money. We probably spent a lot more money than we made. Ah, I appear to be in the minuses for, for funds. Oh, no. Bank. 
Hello, bank. I know you know me from other games. If I could at least have the small loan of $30,000. Thank you very much. All right, where's this stuff I ordered? I ordered stuff yesterday. I ordered new shoes. I ordered new Le Fashionable. Hello, sir. This way. <coughs> yeah, no, I haven't got time to speak to you, dude. I'm just way too busy, you know, opening a reg register, uh, counting all that money that I've got in here. Get out. Get out of my store. <coughs> way too busy to talk to you anyway, my guy. All right, let's hang some more stuff. If things don't stop going on, I've got to repay this bank loan, then it will be myself. Oh, is she buying something? I just made $380. Cool. Cheers. Love. Hope. Hopefully you come back one day. Tell your friends, tell your kids, tell your dog, tell your uncle. Hi, sir. How can I help you today? Are uh, you looking for anything important? Oh, you're going to make a purchase. Oh, lovely, lovely, lovely. I will count this up for you right now. $554. Beautiful. We're going to bait him in. We're going we're to pretend like there's no one in. And then as soon as I walk in the door, I'll be in there like an enthusiastic teabag. Hi, welcome. How are you doing today? What can I help you with? Are you looking at anything in particular? This here memeing game top is beautiful for your son, daughter, or... Okay, just walk out on me. Nobody likes my meme tops. Am I not cool? Am I not hip enough? Oh, the shoes. I didn't Unpack the shoes. <gasps> Quick, the shoes. The delivery man not delivering my shoes yet. Delivery man, where are my shoes? Is he ready to make a purchase? You want to buy something from my store? Now, I'm going to give you a receipt. If you could just leave, uh, sir? Sir? So, if you could just if you could just sign here, um, saying that Jason was your assistant today and he really helped you out, it, it would help me get a nice juicy bonus, sir. I I'll just, I'll just, I'll just slot this in your, in your, in your bag. I'll just slot this in your bag, in, in your, oh, oh, I cannot go any further or I'll, or I'll be fired. <laughs> Have a minute. Hey, I do have a minute. <laughs> Le Fashionable is really popular. This looks promising. Oh, yes, it does. Let's finish this sale, shall we? Now, you see, the last person that was here was really, really rude, and they didn't sign the receipt to say that Jason had helped. If you could not whistle, I'm trying to talk to you. We're trying to have a conversation here. Not many people come in here, you see, on a day-to-day -day basis, and I just like to interact with humans. You also forgot your receipt. What is it? Is it the mohawk? I mean, it's more of a toupee glued onto the very top of my head. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, darling. How are we doing today? You picking up the fashionable as well? Yeah, I think it's to die for. It looked beautiful on you. Thank you for your service. Well, the day has come to an end, and what a successful day it was. We made money, boys. Ah, yeah, I forgot about the, the rent and the loan payment. Let's have a look, though. Sales, $2,240 made. Loan repayments and the building was just a little bit, but we got a little bit of interest. So in total, we made $1.70. Absolutely. Fantastic. $1.70 is better than no dollar seventy. You know what I mean? Get a little bit more in that street life. Or we'll order a few of these hoodies. Street life. Not to be confused with Sweet Life, the Disney TV show. <laughs> ah, yes. Delivery man. Hello again. Welcome. Sorry I was being really rude last time. I was just very busy. You know, we made a lot of money in that day. I know. It's pretty impressive, isn't it? Maybe $1.70 and you just... You just... He just blanks me again. $1.70. That's what we made. It's pretty incredible, isn't it? I'm glad you finally stopped to talk to me. I mean, I've had to block you in the doorway if you'd finally talk to me, but it's nice to have some human interaction, you know? Now, if you excuse me, I've got a customer, so we're very, very, very busy. Hello? Yes? Are you whistling at me? What do you want? What, you want to make a sale, yeah? You, you want to buy something? Well, don't whistle at me, it's rude. See these giant hands? Because everyone in this game has giant hands. I'll clap you over the back of the head with it in a minute. We made $1.70 yesterday. I've got a slightly big head now. Finished sale. I don't know what I just sold him. Did I just sell him anything? What did I just sell him? I just told him we have a couple of shirts. All right, give me a moment, everyone. I'm going to have to hang things up, okay? I'm filling up the street life category. Can you not see? <sighs> oh, oh, this bitch just huffed. This bitch just huffed. Get out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Ain't nobody huffing. You were waiting for 10 bloody seconds while I was filling up the shelf. You could see what I was doing. Get out of here and don't come back. What can you tell me about your assortment? Well, we've got loads of shirts and that's about it at the moment because I don't have the time to hang up anything else because people are so bloody rude. Putting some shoes on the back of the rack where no one will really go. Hello? Jesus Christ. He just... All my hoodies. I spent ages putting them up. What do you mean you'd want all of them and some shoes as well is this some big shot celebrity with a lot of money who are you what 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 youtuber are you let's tally this all up let's see what he's got 675 dollars yeah are you looking at the meme shirt finally someone wants my meme shirts please <gasps> She's taking the meme shirt. She's taking the meme shirt. Your son or daughter will be absolutely loving this for $240. Bazinga on it. You know, you know, Sheldon from the Big Bang Theory, that really funny TV show. You know how his catchphrase is, Bazinga. That, that T-shirt that you just bought is, is a catchphrase from that. It's really funny. Please don't return it. I need the money. Uh... I'm stuck at a bench. Help! Help! People are gonna steal from my store. I'm stuck at a bench. <laughs> what is going on? Oh no, my worst nightmare has come true. This is what everyone used to bully me about at school, and now it's finally come true. I'm stuck inside a bench. I mean, there's 
there's not really much I could do. I'm just gonna have to speed up time and just wait until I can go home. <laughs> so today we lost $137 because I got stuck in the bench and I couldn't actually move. We just ordered a bunch of left fashionable pants. Let's get back to the store and start a new day. It's starting to come along nicely, isn't it? I mean, I haven't got much stock. I bought a load of pants and didn't really think about other stock. I've had it with these customers that are whistling, you know. Look at her as well. She's staring me dead in the eye. I will meet you out the back where you were all. $665. All right, I won't meet you out back. Thank you for your purchase. Uh, I, I love you. Oh, no, shit. Christ. <sighs> right, what? What? You're huffing because you're in line. I'm serving someone else. Yeah, what? What? And what? And what? You're gonna grizzle like that. Oh, $1,490. I don't even need you. All this other bitch that just walked out. Get out of here and don't return. This is how I've always wanted to talk to customers. Oh my god, if you speed up time, it speeds up you as well. You walk super fast. All right, don't get angry. I'm serving you, okay? We are just making pure bank. Look at us. We're selling quicker than we've ever sold before. All right, that's it. That's all my stock. All of the stock is out. Please, people, buy pants because I don't have any more t-shirts or shoes available. A success. Look at those funds. We went up. We're going down again because of the loan, but uh, we'll ignore that. We made $2,600 in a day. This is going swimmingly. All right, I think as we're doing so well, as business is going swimmingly, it's time for us to extend the store. We're going bigger. We're going better. We're going harder. $20,000. Invest. Look at that. $4,000 left. We made 2k today, but we also lost 18,000. <laughs> and you know what? We're going hard on the orders as well. 10 of those, please. Five of these. Five of those. Five of those. Five of those. Order these items. Insufficient funds. Shit, we've run out of funds already. Okay, we're just gonna have to rely on Left Fashionable to get us through this next day. And you know what else I think it's time for? I think it's time we changed up the interior. I don't have enough money for that either. I got like halfway there. <laughs> Oh shit. You see all this left fashionable? Don't you want to be left fashionable? Uh, I don't know how to move things, so it's just a bit of awkward empty space at the moment. I'm sure one day I'll figure out how to move things. Move. Yes, there we go. Okay, we're moving. We're moving the register. Yeah, all right, no whistling. I'm showing another customer things. Yeah, the cash register isn't open. Yeah, you're right. Okay, yeah, you're... I know it's a long walk now, but it it'll all be worth it in the end. I need to make more sales cause so I can continue customizing this beautiful store. Oh no, we're having a bad day. This isn't when we needed a bad day as well. We just expanded. Now I have no money because I, I thought I was gonna make more money. Can you tell me about your assortments? I have pants, no interest. Shirts, no interest. Shoes, no interest. Get the fuck out of here. Look at this, guys. The colors really, really blend well, don't they? And now we've finished the day off. Let's go home and let's see what kind of money we've made. Ah, oh, the rent's increased because we've increased that and the loan's increased as well. And now we're in the minus. Well, the business didn't go too well. We were uh, bankrupt already. We, 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 we've got loan repayments, we've got rent repayments. I don't even have enough money to buy more products. So we're gonna have to end this here, I reckon. The main point of this video was getting enjoyment out of abusing customers. And did I do that? Yes, I did do that. The me of two years ago that was working in retail would be very, very proud of myself right now. Thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you do want to see more of King of Retail and you do want to see me working in retail a little bit more, then be sure to let me know in the comment section down below. I'm sure we can do many, many more things with this game in many, many different stores. If you have any game suggestions, be sure to leave them in the comment section as well. Thank you all for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you new around here be sure to subscribe and be sure to like the video if you did actually like the video thank you guys for watching i really do appreciate it and i will see you all in the next one bye bye